Parsh Mishpatim, the Parsha starts with the halachas, with the mitzvah of Avadim Evedivri. A Jew can sell himself as an Evid, or Bezdin sells a person as a slave to another Jew in certain circumstances. But he can only be an Evid for six years. The seventh year he goes free. The Zayar uh, comments on the, on the halacha that on the seventh, on the seventh year, uh, um, a slave goes free. It's just like Shemitah. We know Shemitah, a person works six years on his field. The seventh year, he has to leave it. He's not allowed to work on his field. More than that, his field becomes Hefker. Every, anybody can come and take whatever they want from his field. So the Zaira says the same thing. The Evid goes free. The field goes free. It's all the same. You have to understand what's the connection between Shemitah and the Evid going free in the seventh year. The Shem Shmuel gives a beautiful explanation. He says, in his core, every Jew is really connected with every other Jew. We're one. We're one neshama. Vayichan Shom Yisrael Negedahar, says the Torah before Batan Torah, in the singular form, and they rested around the mountain before Batan Torah. They were all one. Kla Yisrael, at its core, at its essence, is one. And we're connected one to the other. What separates us? What separates us is everything that's out of our core. Not our neshamas, but our material pursuits, our physical pursuits. When we get caught up, in the world around us, that separates one from the other. But the more we focus on our nishamas, the more we focus on our inner core, the more we're connected to, to each other. And that, says the Shem is the is the, uh, really the deeper explanation of the famous phrase from, from Talmud Yerushalmi, Love your friend like yourself. This is a great rule in the Torah. So the, the, the uh, simple explanation is that this is a very important rule to love your friend. But says the Shem Shmuel, really what the, what the, what the Gemara, what the Talmud Yerushalmi is teaching us, is if you want to come to Avo of your friend, the way to do it is by focusing on the Torah. Zek Lal Gadol, the Torah. The way to do it is by focusing on Torah, focusing on, on, on our pursuits of mitzvahs, of ruchnias, and that's what can, can connect, uh, essentially, the Jew, one, to the other. It says the Shem Shmuel, the number six is well known, symbolizes the physical existence around us. Everybody is surrounded by six sides. Front, back, right, left, top and bottom. This is what surrounds us. These six sides are what surround us. What's seven? Seven is me. Seven is the inner me, the inner point which exists in myself. Myself is the, is the seventh. It says the Shem Shmuel, a person buys a piece of land. Okay, so it's my land, it's not your land. A little separation between me and you. Of course, we live in a real world. We, we don't live in, a, in, in, a, in an ideal world. So yes, I have to have my property, which is not your property. You have your property, which is my property. We don't all live in one house. We don't all live in each other's houses, in each other's fields, and take whatever we want. That's the real world. But the real world, the real world exists for six years. The seventh year, we relinquish our rights to this land, and we say, this is not mine, this is not yours, this is ours. We want to become more together because the seventh is our inner core, which is really connected to every other Jew. The outside, the six, is what separates me from you. What I do to my right, what I do to my left, what, what, I, spend my, what I spend my six years working, that's me, that's me, and that's not you, and that's you, and that's not But then the seventh year, we want to become more connected one to the other. Avdus, slavery, is a complete contradiction to this idea. How could it be one person buys another person, he becomes a slave and you become my master? That's, that, that, that's the biggest contradiction to us being together and us being connected one to the other. We're, we're, we're all together, we're next to each other. How can it be one on top of another? That can happen for six years. That's what the Zayar is teaching us. The lesson of Shemitah and the lesson of Evadivri is one and the same. The seventh is what connects us one to the other. Continues the Shem Shmuel. This really is relevant every single week. Every single week we work for six days. We, we have to pursue our, our physical and material pursuits. This is how we live. But that's only for six days. On the seventh day, like those, those Yidin, Nusach Svar, that say Kegavna, between Kabbalah Shabbos and Marv, they say, Rosa de Shabbos, Iu Echad, Iu Choda. The, the secret of Shabbos is one. The secret of Shabbos is that it can connect the Yidin together. If we really understand the secret of Shabbos, if we really 
focus on being together, a focusing on our inner, on our neshamis. We, we, we forget about our physical, our, 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 our gashmis that we're busy with the entire week, and we focus on our ruchnis, then we can become one, one to each other. We don't have avodim today, we don't have servants today, we don't buy each other anymore. The mitzvah of Shemitah is relevant to those living in Eretz Yisrael, for us in the diaspora, unfortunately, it's not so relevant, but the message of Shemitah that the Zayar is teaching us, and the message of Eved Ivri is relevant as it is ever. Good job. Please don't forget to subscribe. You'll get the video every week by subscribing. Put a like. Thank you very much. Good job.